anyway, um, you, you know, if people ask me why I'm running for governor, real quick on this, uh, here's here's a perfect example. Here's a dude. You know, we have like retards who hang around the show, mm -hmm. like different goofy guys. Gary, bring okay, in the. Pat? Yeah, this is one of these goofy guys. No, let me get him in here, and I'll explain who he is. Mm. Where's that goofy guy? Oh, my God. oh, here he is. Monster Dan. Who is that? Monster Dan. Hey, Monster Dan. Oh, How you boy. Doing? <laughs> Monster Dan walks around with a giant, like, cowboy hat and a weird outfit, and he has a Howard Stern for governor sign, and he's been out in front of the building for, like, two days, and he's way too old to be doing this. How old are you, Monster Dan? Uh, I'm 39, Howard. 39, right, sure. yeah, sure. <laughs> How old are you, Monster Dan? I'm oh! <laughs> Put your hat back on. Oh, my God. Monster Granddad. Uh, my, <laughs> come on, be honest. You're not 39. No, I'm, I'm 39. Huh? You're younger than me. He's got children 39. Huh? <laughs> yeah. uh, 39. Hop along huh? nutcase. No, but you're kind of like morning, a... Robin. Good morning. You're kind of like a nutty guy, right? Yeah, I mean, yes, would sir. you would you agree? Yes, sir. Yeah. What's your story? What do you do for a living? Um, I, I own the art arena. It's in Route 46 in Fort Lee. And, um, you know, I'm an artist. I sell paintings, posters, and, and stuff yeah. like that. So, anyway, he's real goofy, and he walks around in a goofy cowboy outfit. And uh, those blue... Calls himself great. Monster Dan, but he really is Monster Forehead Dan, because <laughs> he's probably got no hair up there. <laughs> hey, thanks, Harry. What's your story? You gay or are you straight? Oh, I'm straight. Harry. Are you? Yeah. So you, you, boy, you had me guessing on that yeah, one. He's fooling everybody. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that, uh, that scarf kind of makes you look gay in the oh, outfit. Yeah. It looks like a boy scout. <laughs> He looks like a child molester, but he's not. <laughs> right? Don't you? Did anyone ever tell you that before? Uh, no, Howard. No? I'm not the first one? Nobody lets you babysit, though. <laughs> uh, well, my sister does let me babysit. Is that right? Uh, yeah. Really? Derek, oh. Derek and James, I babysit. Them. All right. Well, he's basically a good man. He's just goofy. You sure? Yeah. <laughs> Would it be fair to say you're king of the retards? Uh, yes, Howard. Okay. <laughs> All right. So anyway, so he's out there, and he used to travel with this other guy. Oh, this is the guy. Yeah, this guy. Did you, who was that dude you used to travel around with? Um, that was my, my best friend, um, Don the Animal. Don the Animal. Yes, and Don the Animal bought it. And how many guys is Monster Dan... Going to be able to click with. Click with and find other guys to dress up like him yeah. and walk around. And be with him. And with signs and stuff and walk around. Yeah, we we were doing it for about um, you know we went to high school together. We 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 were doing it for about you know ten eleven years. Did you guys work together as well? Yes, we we had a comedy music duo. Uh, we did jobs. He was like your goofy partner. Yeah, it, you know he was a wonderful friend, Howard. Oh. What happened to him? Uh, well, nobody really knows. They found him um, uh, off the Cross Bronx Expressway, and um, you know found you know, him what dead? No, yeah, he was shot a, a couple oh. times. What do you think happened? I I, I think that. The theory is that he either got a flat or something like that. His car broke down there, and um, I guess he was trying to make a phone call or something, and um, that was it. Wow. You can't even get a flat tire in this town. No. That's taking your life into your hands. Are you a suspect? Oh. Oh. <laughs> no, I don't, Why I, weren't you with him at the time? <laughs> yeah, right. I mean, no offense. You're always with the guy, and now suddenly well, I, they find him dead. I, I tell you, he, he was as bald as me, Howard. Yeah. Uh, he was ill-tempered, and he was very unreliable. And, I, I, you know, there were times I, I was very mad at him. <laughs> yeah, right. No. Never, you never would No, do. I would never do that, Howard. Right. Oh, boy. You know, you look a Don't little look like a... Don't look around like that, Dan. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah right. <laughs> what? Which of us is next? <laughs> yeah, right. He, he whipped her out like he heard a voice coming from behind him. You don't hear voices in your head, do you? <laughs> do you? No. Have you, you ever heard a voice in your head? Uh, no. No, okay. Kill. Anyway. <laughs> kill. No, but anyway, Monster Dan had this this companion in life. This yeah. guy, you know... You don't have a woman, you? Do you? Ma you married? I was married, Howard, uh, for about five years. I'm uh, divorced now. But Monster Dan had... Uh... Actually, what was the guy's name again? Don the Animal. Don the Animal. Monster Dan had Don the Animal. He had a friend yeah. in Don the Animal who actually bought into the whole act here. And would hang with this. And hang with Monster <laughs> Dan. And now he's gone. We're going to. I'm and going if they to ever, Albany. you are going to Albany. Yes, no, I'll stay home. <laughs> I'm staying home, Robin. You, you go. Forgot. Yeah, right. <laughs> But the point is, you lost your friend, and if they ever caught the guys... You see, the reason crime is so out of hand is these guys know if they get caught, nothing will happen to them. Well, first of all, it's hard to catch them. And second of all, if they, they are caught, nothing happens. Are the, do the cops have any leads as to who killed Don the Animal? Uh, no, Howard. Nobody really knows what happened. Really? Yes, sir. Said. There yes, are sir. murders committed where there's no solution. So they got away with it. Was he robbed? Do they have evidence that he was robbed? There's no evidence to that, no. No. I mean, you know. Was he involved in anything shaky? No, 
No. no not at all. I really? I don't think so. Mm-hmm. All right, well, anyway, that, that's why I'm running for governor, so guys like him could get revenge. If we ever catch these guys who killed Don the Animal, then they would be put to death. See? And chances are these guys who killed Don the Animal are responsible for other deaths. Oh, yeah. They, it doesn't seem like they'd stop with did they, Don. Did they take Don the Animal's cowboy hat? Um, no, his parents have that stuff. They do have it. Yes. You didn't get it? His parents got it? Well, what did I, you didn't, get? I didn't ask for it. Did you get anything? Or? No, no. no I was Nothing. Say. To remember him by? Um, no, not really. Mm. No, that's very sad. Did the parents let you visit the hat? Oh, actually, we we I bought Beavis and Butthead masks. Oh, yeah. oh, did you? Beavis and Butthead masks, yes. And uh, I have the animals uh, uh, mask. Okay. Oh, you do? Yeah. So you walk. If around. I get another partner, you know. Yeah, it's well, sad. You finally found someone who would, you know, be your pal. Is that the? Are those the Beavis and Butthead masks that you guys wore at uh, Howard's book signing? Uh, yes, they were. Yeah, he, 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 so he was alive as recently as yeah. the book signed. Don the Animal got at least a chance to read the book. Well, we were in Time Magazine, Howard. I, I know. Oh, this is the guy who's, every time that a reporter asks someone for an opinion of Howard Stern, they ask, they, ask, they ask him and his buddy there who used to be alive. Yeah. That's who they find. Two of the weird, they look for the two weirdest guys and go, oh, you're fans of Howard? <laughs> <laughs> and it's always uh, Don the Animal and Dan, whatever. Monster Dan. Monster Dan. You really, you actually make a living... Uh, yes, I do. Yeah, he does. But you're out, you've been out in front of the building for like two days now, right? Yes, sir. Yeah. It's it's not the same without Don the Animal. No, it, it really isn't. It yeah. must hurt, yeah. Yeah, a little bit, yeah. Cowboy Dan wrote a song for your campaign. Is that right? Yes, sir. All right, where is that song? Right over here? All right, Cowboy Dan, I'll listen to this real... It's Monster Dan, not Cowboy Dan. Gary. All right, Monster Dan. How long has Don the Animal been, been gone? Uh, about... Uh, five, six weeks, Howard. Really? Is that, is that, is that recent? Yes, sir. Hmm. Very sad. Sorry we lost him. Hey, you guys were interviewed in Time Magazine. Not interviewed. We had our picture. In That's there. what I mean. Yes, sir. Yeah, we, we, you know, we're in the Daily News. We got on hard copy twice. Yeah, these guys are in every interview. I'm telling you. And they always had nice things to say, but it never helped because they looked it's so weird. It's amazing that I never, <laughs> I was never aware of them until now. Yeah. I've been I've been trying to shield them from you, Robin, but I it's, I've been unable to uh, today. That's, that's what is that? That's because when Robin went to Howard's book signing, she goes underneath the building. Uh, she, would, she would never go near the people. <laughs> well, now you see why. Can you blame her? I cannot be bothered. Oh, you guys. <laughs> they didn't even come. Listen to this. Hey, Monster Dan, why don't you in in uh, Don the Animal's name and memory? Why don't you change your name to Dan the Animal? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Monster, Monster Dan, Dan the, the animal. animal. Absolutely. All right, if you don't mind, I... Thank you very much. That's, uh, Thank little... you very much. <laughs> yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> now, you wrote this, Monster Dan? Yes, I did. All right. Is that you playing keyboard? Yes, sir. Right. It's an artist. You'd like to see me govern. How it's turned for governor of all for every vote. Get out of here. Oh Get out now. <laughs> no wonder Don the Animal I killed himself. I nothing could be worse than David Peel. <laughs> Is there any any chance that that was a suicide of Don the Animal? <laughs> <laughs> Did he hear this song? <laughs> when you were playing this song, were you wearing boxing gloves or something? <laughs> I don't think he hits one right cape. Criminals quiver in your pants. I see you choked up, aren't you? Yes, what, you're thinking of Don the Animal? Uh, yes, he would have left you, or been you, up here. He probably inspired How, this but song. But this is, this is what, it's, what it's all for. I, I know. I know. Don the Animal could have been... It's okay to cry. Don't be embarrassed. Right. It's okay, man. You love the guy. Men cry. Men can cry. I've cried. I cried once. I was did just, you cry? I was listening to an Enough's Enough record. <laughs> Very big of you. Yeah. When my grandfather died, didn't feel a thing. <laughs> If you're going to cry, cry close to the microphone, will you? Uh, yes. Okay, Harris, thank you. <coughs> you are crying, aren't you? It's, it's, it's a very moving thing right now. Yeah. Because he would have loved to have been oh, in this Howard, room with this us. This was our goal. I know, just you to get up here. You never made it this on the show goal. with him. You never well, got no, on the we show. No, we were on the show. We were the cowboy. We introduced you to Dallas, Texas. The first day you were going into Dallas, Texas. That's right. The Cowboys. That's right. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm. Well, at least Don the Animal got on the show once. Can you imagine if he was sitting here right now, how thrilled he would have been? Uh -huh. This was our dream, Howard. This was the dream. Well, at least you're realizing the dream in his memory. I certainly am. Right. Did uh, Dan the Animal have a wife? Uh, no, no. No, they really had each other. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> Seriously, <it. laughs> they really did. It's very sad. 
right. Make believe you see. He would have been sitting right in that chair. Yeah, you feel his presence. Just trying to get him to cry. <laughs> if I was you, I'd be, I'd be crying because my hair fell out if I was you. <laughs> Want to see Jackie cry? I won't read his plugs today. <laughs> 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 electric chair will dine. I was done for governor. You like my gubernatorial campaign because I'm for the electric chair and you know, he doesn't care about the other issues. Right. No, I don't care. Because about of of course uh Don the Animal. Yes. Sir. But who will we fry? Well in his That's case we problem. probably will end up frying the guys who kill him. We just won't know they ever killed Don the Animal. Wow. Well. Monster Dan having a tough day emotionally. This is a big dream of uh, him and his partner. I'm getting all choked. Yeah, it's hard. It's a hard day for you, isn't it? Yes. Sir. And yet it's a joyous one because you're on the show. Absolutely. Yeah. Let all the potholes be filled with dead bombs. Would he have been a part of this song? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Right. Well, Gary, don't leave me alone with him. Uh, <laughs> you guys crying? You can, you can go off in any minute. What's the matter with you? Where's he going? I had to go check on a on a potentially naked woman. Woman. Oh, okay. Well, anyway, I'm done with, uh, of course, uh, Monster Dan. Oh, I wish he could stay here and do yeah, the whole show. The phone, yeah. You can in that chair next to you, Rob. Uh. <laughs> he can stare at you the whole time. <laughs> you won't finish the song, Howard? You want me to finish it yeah, in honor of uh, Don the Animal? How much longer is Let it? Let all the potholes be filled. Is it, is it a lot longer? With dead bums, zap, plus they've killed. Right. Please, Howard. Because they kill Howard Stern for governor. You're really 39 years old? Yes, sir. <laughs> Say goodbye to scum who killed with their guns. How, How old was uh, Don the Animal? Uh, two years younger. Yeah. FCC won't dare find again. To hell with anyone you're old man. How would Stern for governor? Oh, I got to hear the whole thing? It's, o- it's over, Howard. Huh? Oh, it is? Stern all right. King of all media. How would Stern for oh, governor? governor? Yeah. Yeah, very nice. Very nice. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah. Yeah. You're happy now. Thank you, Howard. Now you're happy. Yes, Howard. All right, very I'm good. out of here? Yeah, you're out of here. Can I say one more thing, Howard? And you were on way too long already. Oh, just the last thing. All right, go ahead. Slash, slash, Louie. There you go. Baba Booey. There you go. April <laughs> Fool's, dude. What do you mean, April, April Fool's? Fool's what do you mean? The animal's alive. He is? Where is April he? April Fool's, Howard. <laughs> well, who cares then? Why would you ruin it like that, you dummy? <laughs> Where is he? Where is he then? No, I'm only kidding. It's not April Fool's. Oh. Oh. Is he really what? dead or not? Stop it. Yeah. I, I, I want to, you know, do an April Fool's thing. Is he alive or dead? Um, dead. He is dead. All right. Sorry. Next so time it's not you're going to have to bring a body. We're not listening to you. Gary, get him out of here. He's scary. <laughs> <laughs> he really is scary. <laughs> thank you, Eric. All right, thank you, man. Okay. dare not. <laughs> I'm not sure what just went, out, went on here. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Keep those glasses on, will you? <laughs> if he's 39, it has a one in front of it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's 139. <laughs> He thought he pulled a scam on us, and all of a sudden he looks smart. I know. He looked like an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> what a nut. Uh, <laughs> I'm not laughing about the animal's death. No. I think I'm even laughing at that. I don't know. I'm not sure what I'm laughing at. I'm just sorry Monster Dan wasn't with him when it happened. <laughs> <laughs> All right, anyway, uh, we want to thank uh, Monster Dan, who evidently has suffered a loss, whether it's his hair or his friend. Something happened. <laughs> Something happened. Yeah, but uh, there he is. He's very excited about my gubernatorial campaign. Yeah. A bony fight. Why is it everybody who writes a song for you can't ride? I know. Can't we get someone who sings working on this show? <laughs> All right, we'll take a break, and we'll be back right after these words. You're listening to The Howard Stern Show. Snapple. Snapple. Hey, I love Snapple, Robin. I don't know about you, but I love it. Oh, Howard, I can't wait until yeah. uh, they open the park. Because all the little carts in the park carry Snapple. Says I'm skating oh, around. Yes, I I'm going to get Snapple. Yeah, that's going to be great, Robin. I love that. I love Snapple more than anything. Makes me feel good that Snapple's not only in health food stores anymore. I um, 
I'm a big fan of the uh, Snapple products. Have been for 17 years. They're great. No, I don't care what you're talking about now. If you're talking about real brewed iced tea, fruit drinks, natural sodas, it doesn't make a difference. All of it is good. They make great products and they put great care into their products. They don't put a product out on the market until it's really perfected. I think that if you're going to give your kids soda, you have to give them Snapple. There's no choice. First of all, it tastes better than regular sodas. The kids love it. And it's uh, good for them. There's no artificial colors or chemicals or preservatives. Nothing. You don't get the thrill that I get because you're closed up in your house all the time. Right. Actually, when I ride up to that cart and somebody's ordering a Snapple, I feel a personal sense of satisfaction. You do? Yes. Maybe you would have run off with Dan the Animal there. That message. <laughs> maybe you would have go. Maybe you would have go hang out with him for the day. <laughs> I'm gonna take Monster. Oh no, Animal Dan. Dan Monster animal. the Animal Dan. <laughs> anyway, uh, Schnapple is made from the best stuff on earth. You'll love it. You'll love their uh, oh their fruit drink flavors like lemonade, pink lemonade, orangeade. Stephen Baldwin was saying he likes the um. What does he like, Fred? Kiwi strawberry. That's what it is. Kiwi strawberry cocktail. Oh, what great drinks! Have one today. Have it with your lunch. Snapple, made from the best stuff on earth. We're back with the Howard Stern Show. And by the way, uh, Jackie Platinum, Joe Page Martling, ordered Jackie's new comedy CD, also available on cassette. Only 10 bucks plus free shipping and handling. Call 1-800-323-5464 if you want some more info on Jackie's new uh, offering. Also, Saturday night, April 16th, at Plush Club Manet in Sayreville, New Jersey. Oh, yes. <laughs> A little what Jackie will be doing. Have we ever met this kid? No. When are we going to meet him? Five, call 516-922-WINE. All right, thank you. All right, thank you. Thank you. I said thank you. This girl here wants to take a top off for us, Robin. Oh. Real quick, she's right off the street. We have a lot to get to, but she needs to do it. She wants us to evaluate her body. She recently she lost weight. She wants you to evaluate her. Yeah, she said to Gary she wants us to evaluate her. How old is she? It's the difference. I just wondered. I don't know. I don't have a bio on her. I'm just telling you what I know. An interesting request. All right. She wants to get to right. know them personally. Oh, listen to you. <laughs> yeah, Hello? I think of them as people, Fred. Wow. Well, you've got somebody on you. He has an attitude. <laughs> angry. Are you angry? Um, yeah. You are. What the heck? We haven't even said hello yet. But you want to take your clothes off for us and uh, let us evaluate your body? Cowboy dance. <laughs> Does size really matter, Howard? Oh, yeah. And let me tell you something. You're beautiful. Your chest. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Her ch your chest. What happened? what happened to you? Your chest is so beautiful. I must tell you that uh, I can't wait to see it naked. Okay, look. Howard, this is a farce, okay? This is this is totally ridiculous. What is? Why is this ridiculous? Because You're the one who came down here and wants to, uh... Do you want to take your clothes off, right? No, okay? I, I well, only... Well, Gary, you said she's going to take her clothes off. All right, I told him that I would do that. Right. Because I knew that was the only way to get in. Yeah. Why did you need to get in so bad? All right, this is really hard for me. What? Dear. No, you're making fun of me. This no, 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 this is good. I'm curious. <laughs> what? She, she seems so normal in the guest lounge. <laughs> no, she didn't. No. I was going to say, could we sit her down before Take she Take a seat and relax. Why don't you sit down and relax? You look like you're upset. She is stronger. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it was just really important for me to meet Jackie. Jackie, Jackie you want to meet. Yeah. Well, hey, there's a new one on me yeah. because I don't think anyone's ever wanted to meet Jackie no, before. His wife doesn't even want to You should buy his new him. CD. He's the world's worst actress I've ever seen. I know. But good job. April you... Fool to you, too. What April Fool? Are you in love with me? No, I'm not in love with you. Oh, dear. Do you really like Jackie? Are you a Jackie fan? No. You're not a Jackie fan. You just wanted to meet Jackie. Why didn't you? Why are you crying? <laughs> Did I get you pregnant? <laughs> no, but you got my mother pregnant. <gasps> Is Jackie your father? Oh, jeez. Oh. It's nice to finally meet you. <laughs> oh. Jackie, you've <laughs> always wanted to. Are man. you really serious? I'm... Is that why you look so much like me? I'm very serious. What are you saying you know, about Jackie? We're going to put this on the air, but maybe we shouldn't. I don't know, because I am serious. Does Michigan State ring a bell? 
Sure. East Lansing? Yes. Boy, you did some homework for this April Fool's joke. I... Oh, Jackie. Oh. April Fool's? Mm-hmm. That's what you think this is? Jackie, I don't... Seriously? Okay. I don't think it's an April Fool's joke. <laughs> seriously, Jackie. Would you like to move into my house? Jackie. You know... It's not an April Fool's joke. I'm, not, I'm not... It, I'm not... I'm not even in on this, if it is. Why are you crying? She's meeting her father for the first time. Yeah, it's my father. I'm doing it on the radio. Obviously, I raised a moron. Oh, you didn't raise anybody. That surprise me. How would you, well, let me ask you something. Wait a second. Let me ask you no. didn't raise anybody. Let me you ask you something. like to grow up without a father? Let me ask you something. When you say that Jackie Martling is your father... <laughs> Which is outrageous is to me. Is Jackie impotent? Is that why he can't believe this? It's Jackie, are you impotent? <laughs> no, it just this happens to me every week. I got so many kids running around. I just, all I got to do is yell charge if I ever get mugged. That's not true. Are you serious? Uh, I you find it hard to believe. What's your mother's name, lady? Okay, take take it off the air. I will tell you what my mother's name is. Tell me right how now. How did you meet? How did you meet? You're doing uh, this on the air. Tell me your name. How my you... name, I'll tell you. I'm not going to tell you my mother's name on yeah, the air. Uh, and it just happened, you just decided to come in on April 1st. <laughs> it's Good Friday, okay? I thought it was a really nice time to do it. That's when families are supposed to be together. I didn't even know this. When did you find out? I just found out a short while ago. H how did you find out? What was the story behind it? I didn't even know. I didn't even know he was my father, okay? I... Do you, uh, Robin, I am telling you right now, I swear on a stack of Bibles, I am not in on this joke yeah. if it is one. Well, Do you know I about this? don't know about any, any And I don't know about it. And if anybody ever told me that I had a child, I would have taken care of her. Well, but you, know, you can't blame Jackie. Wife, I mean, she the wife, said the that, okay. You can't blame Jackie. If, in fact, you, now listen, your mother could be also have heard him on the radio with us and said that's your yeah, father maybe or something. That's we gotta, Why would she do that? Why would she pick how him would she, my How did she know Jackie? Yeah, she could have picked Howard. Why would she pick him? That's true, too. Why would she pick him? Well, how do you know? Where did you think? Who did you think your father was growing up? Did you have a father at all? She told me he died. Really? Well, yeah. I almost died. Actually, he's died on stage. <laughs> well, you she know. Said, she said that you guys met at a party, you slept together, and then you blew her off after that. You oh, that even narrows that to... down. <laughs> and where did you yeah. meet? Um, where where was the party? At Michigan State? Yeah. It was like, a, I guess, a frat party or something. Well, that's funny, because I wasn't in fraternity and didn't date people at fraternities. I was in a band, and we had our own people. So Well, it wasn't that. She, she didn't say you were in a frat. Okay. She said it was at a frat party. There were frat people around. Look, I just found this out. She doesn't know. I don't. I don't even. Want, look, I don't want anything from you. I just thought that I could meet you. Don't you don't want a CD, oh, Jackie. Why are you making jokes? I don't Jackie, want a CD. Jackie, Jackie, I don't think person. this is. A, I'm, I'm being serious. I don't care. Don't even make. Well, what do you mean you don't well, care? Wait a minute. I'm supposed. I'm cold. If you're her father. All I wanted to do. I Jackie, thought, if Jackie, you're her father. What do you I mean, just thought cold? that I could meet you. I just thought. You know what? I'm gonna. I'm gonna tell you something. This isn't a joke. So what I'm gonna do is I am gonna take this off the air. Maybe you and Jackie ought to go out. Maybe you and Jackie. Would you be willing to talk to her in the hall? Seriously. Sure. And you won't seduce her. She's your daughter. Yeah, Jackie, she's your daughter, possibly. And I'm not saying. Listen, no offense, but I'm not. I, in all, in all fairness to Jackie, if you are his daughter, he wouldn't have known about it. If, your it's mother should have contacted. Did your mother there. ever try to contact Jackie? No, she was too embarrassed. She got pregnant. She didn't even go back to school. She she went back and lived with her parents. Really? And if, but she, but she, you would not you wouldn't really know if Jackie was your father unless you had a blood test or something, right? Well, yeah. I, I mean, I, maybe we should talk about that off the air if you'd be willing to have, like, a paternity test. I don't you know, know how she they looks like that. somebody I used to sleep with. Well, maybe that... Seriously? I, I mean, I have a picture. You have a picture of your mother? Yes. You'll show that to Jackie? Yes, I will. Give it to me right now. Okay. No joke. But who cares? You never... No, I mean, well, calm down, Jackie. I mean, you can see how upset oh, yeah, I'm, I'm the girl really, is. I'm really... Hey, the guy's uncomfortable. I can see that. Hey. I'm glad Jackie's not my father. Yeah, imagine you tell him your father's laughing at you. Shouldn't you guys have gone through the trouble of gotten a picture from the 60s and Let me see. Of the 50s? Let me see the picture. It's an old picture. Of let me see the picture. It's what I carry with me. <laughs> Jackie, let me see. Go let away, me see. Uh, let me see the picture. Away. You're uh, can I see the picture? Oh, Jackie, Get my so CD, 1-800-323-5164. Howard, the picture's from 19. That's, that's the picture I carry with me. Oh, please. That's this woman does not look familiar to you. Yeah, she looks very familiar. Did you see her name on the back? Yes. And do you know her? You claim you don't know her. How could Jackie possibly know who he slept with and didn't? Yeah, you were I mean, always you... drinking. That's 25 years ago. 30 years Did ago. Did you recognize the name? Yeah. You do? Seriously? Yeah. You recognize the woman's name. Mm. Did you sleep with her? I think she used to hang around with my friends. I don't think I slept with her. 
You sure? Maybe I did. Maybe I did. Why wouldn't? She, why would she say you? Why wouldn't she say one of your friends? What would be the point of that? I'm just playing along, lady. That isn't anybody. Please stop. <laughs> why don't you even look like her? Well, she, I think she does actually. She doesn't look like you, Jackie. Imagine a female well, I Jackie. Guess, I guess yeah. that's a good thing. Well, I'm not cold. Well, you're not even looking for anything from Jackie. You just came up no, to me. No, I just... I'll give you a free CD, lady. I lady. I lady. It's your daughter. I don't want, I don't want a CD. Hey. I don't want a CD. How I come I mean, that I... girl's from middle America and I'm a wasp and you're Jewish? Are you Jewish? You're not even Jewish. She's not Jewish. How do you what, know What she... are you? What are you? Do you know? Roman Catholic. You're Roman Catholic, and what's your ethnicity? Is it? Is it uh -huh. what, <laughs> what's, your, what's your ethnicity? I knew I shouldn't have come here. I... Answer the question! Hey, don't yell at her. It's Jackie, Please. Jackie, mellow out. Jackie, for the defense. You're a father. Well, I mean, no, man. Yeah, you know, you're going to go through this whole thing, and I'm going to have to sit through four weeks of you guys saying, we had you going, we had you going. No, but no, no. You no. got me going for five seconds. What are you? Italian? Yes. And what is Emily Turner? <laughs> oh, well, maybe Emily Turney was half. Maybe her mother name. was Italian, that's Jackie. Maiden, wait, that's her maiden name, right? Yeah, but maybe her father no, is an Italian. Is. You but how could you? How could this you? This is my daughter. You're right? making a fool out of yourself. Uh, well, let me. That's, maybe, that's the whole show. I'll take well, this maybe, off the air. Howard, maybe it's just, I mean, he's hey, obviously... Can I ask a three... Did you want anything from Jackie? You're looking no. for money from Jackie? Howard, no, I, I mean, he's three obviously questions. in shock. What do you do for a living now? Are you presently employed? Yeah, I'm a receptionist, but that's not what I want to do. Right. I mean, I... Is that her maiden name? Do you know what that means? Is that her maiden yeah, name? Her maiden name. What's her married name? I told you I will tell you off the air. She doesn't want to obviously What's give out her, her last name on the is air. Is her husband Italian? What's her husband? You're, hu you're her husband. Or you're her... Uh, you're my father. She never married. She married, so... It's not so me good. and her made you? Good boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so bad. Oh. Uh, why is it so hard to believe? Why is it so hard to believe, Jackie? Oh, stop! It. Oh, you couldn't have any little. Uh, I think it's great you have a kid. I just, a, I just what, what did I say to you just before the break? What did you say? Tell me. You, you tell said me. that uh, Gary was planning it's something. Scam. Yeah, it's but you know why more, you said that? Because that idiot and... before, because the idiot before on the air did an April Fool's joke. Right. I planned right. an April Fool's joke on Jackie for a full month, <laughs> and some imbecile walks in here and starts screaming about April Fool's. We had nothing planned. It was April Fool's. But you would have fallen for it. You would have fallen for it if that idiot was not before. Howard, Howard, how many people tried to hire and you and for April good. Fool's that you were oh, right at? please. But the whole world uh, tried to, And that's very Howard, Robin, Robin. You shouldn't have done it this way. There was no way to get Jackie this way. He was never going he for would. it this way. Do you believe... He knows do you April believe? First. Do you believe that that idiot who was on before <laughs> well, planned an April that. Fool's joke and we had nothing to do with that. Can I still get money? You don't know how my heart sank. Yeah. I've been planning this April Fool's joke. Fred said we got to do it to Jackie yeah. this year. But at least, uh, like Jackie said, get somebody who looks and like him more. and find out some information. <laughs> oh, she was good. I oh, thought you right. did a great job. That she picture, would have fooled him. That she picture really? was ridiculous. Oh, the picture was that picture was so funny. <laughs> well, by the way, this is, this is that's really my mother. Yeah, I know you do look like her. Yeah, but you are Jewish. Of course. Ah. Yeah, so why did you get somebody who looked like Jackie? <laughs> we had a choice of someone who looked like Jackie, but Leslie was a very fine actress. We felt, let's go for the, for the you, actress, Howard. the better actress. <laughs> than, well, uh, the one who could cry on cue. Yeah, right? and why, you know, you, you meet a lot of guys. They, the, the girl always looks like the uh, mother. I can believe I, Jackie's daughter. I, you know what? I, I used to date a Jewish think... girl yeah. whose first name was Fern. Right. Who she really looks like? Really? So that that was kind of funny thinking about that because it would have worked college, had that guy not come on before him. No, I have yeah, better <laughs> information. Oh please! I've been sitting here the whole time. Meanwhile, we called every one of Jackie's friends to get better information. Burf knew nothing about Jackie. Right. This is Jackie's supposedly good friend. <laughs> and neither did Chris Bates. Yeah, none Jackie's of these buddy guys. Been talking about for a hundred years. Yeah, Bates and me. And yeah. they go. So we Jerry, go way back. Jerry calls up this guy know. Bates and calls up uh, this other guy uh, Burf, and they go. Hey, we don't really know that much about Jackie. Yeah. And we go, well, what about Michigan State? Don't really know. Well, they didn't go with him. So then uh, his buddy Bates gives me a guy's name somewhere in San Francisco or James, around there. James Willanis? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, so I call every area code in Northern California, find nothing. Yeah. <laughs>
And then we were going to call your wife, but she was out of town. <laughs> oh, and I figured she'd tell you. And then we were going to call your mother-in-law, your mother, anyone else we get our hands on. But, you know. But My they, mother was the person to call. She would, she would scheme against me all day. Really? Yeah, but she doesn't know who you slept with in college. <laughs> sure. I don't know about that. <laughs> she did but anyway, well. Leslie, you did a very fine yeah. job. Leslie, Thank what's your you. name? You're, you're a fine actress. My name is Leslie Nemet. Leslie Nemet, and you are an actress. Yes, I am. And where, do, where can we see you? Can we see you anywhere acting? <laughs> well, I'm seeking representation. Oh, you so. are? Yes, I am. And next year she'll be... Uh, Fred's daughter. <laughs> we actually had this whole thing where she was going to say she didn't want anything, but she never did get to college, and maybe that she would, Jackie would help out with college. I said, yeah, he'll send her to, like, uh, Bosey's college. Right. <laughs> yeah, here's 500. Here's yeah. She did cry pretty well, though. Yeah. Apex pick. It got you a little bit when she was staring at you kind of angry. No, Come on. It scared me that she could cry that easily on cue. <laughs> <laughs> well, nice job, Leslie. Yeah. Well, thank you and very much. And thanks for helping us I out with this. I was worried that she thanks. was crying at the thought that I was somebody's fault. <laughs> I, was I was enjoying it. And then I went out in the hall after that idiot was screaming about April yeah. Fool's. And you yeah. yelled at Gary. And I, yelled, I was like, Gary, I go, I don't believe this. I don't believe this guy just right, caught April then Fool's. that was just... It was on our mind. It. Yeah. Everybody was right. thinking April Fool's. Yeah, I mean, it just... And yeah. then I said, even if the audience was going to get fooled into this, they're going to be thinking, oh, this is yeah. another right. April yeah. Fool's thing. And it, I couldn't believe our bad luck. <laughs> That's the, why when I said that guy was great, you were like, yeah... Yeah, oh, I was furious. I was furious. You lost it. You should have gone along with Jackie. I was furious. Howard, he asked me to wear the hat. <laughs> yeah, I'm furious. You know what the worst part about this is? You know, we take turns every year getting somebody. Yeah. And we got Jackie this year, Robin uh, the year before, and me the year before. And since we're all afraid of Fred, it'll be my turn next year. Yeah. It always skips over Fred. <laughs> like, leave here. Fred is the one who said, we got to get someone yeah. to say that they're Jackie's yeah. daughter. Oh. That's I cool. want to thank my friends who tried to fill me in on Jackie's life. Yeah, that's scary <laughs> enough. You know what? Imagine studying Jackie's I life. Thought Gary, oh, I thought guys. somebody had said to me at some point, but I think it was a lo long time ago, like eight years ago, something. somebody said, oh, we were going to try and pull off a thing where, you, where uh, we found your daughter or your son or something like yeah, that. Yeah, well, we finally got around to it, and five minutes before we're about to do it, some guy walks in and plays a practical that's joke on on. us. <laughs> What a moron. <laughs> God, he ruined my day, that guy. That guy is never allowed on the show. He's, no, he's never allowed anywhere near me. He's a bad luck charm. I'm calling Time Magazine tell him never to put him in again. Yeah, right. He's going to go nuts. The one thing he did wrong that he, he would have no idea he was doing And you wrong. know what? I haven't had, that guy was out there trying to play that joke on us for three days. Right. Right. <laughs> Five minutes that. before I'm about to had do to my joke that. on Jackie, that guy shows Wait up. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. At least that guy planned. Yeah. <laughs> what, 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 what happened? That guy was out there all day yesterday. Robin, I didn't even knew that guy. I just thought it was cool that he had a, guy, a friend who died. Right, I, don't, I don't even right. recognize that yes. guy. Yes, I, I told you I had never seen him before. Yeah. I said to you, I said to the guy, what would have happened if I would have let you up yesterday? Yeah. And so well, I didn't think of that. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, Leslie, nice job. Thanks for helping Thank us you out. Very much. Thanks, Leslie. She's a wonderful actress. Yes, <laughs> Jackie's uh, daughter. If you, Leslie. If you want to represent Leslie, you can call me at the station at two one two seven five zero zero five five zero, and I can get in touch with her. All right, Thank you. Good. All right, thanks, Leslie. Thanks. And by the way, if you want to take your clothes off now, you can. Well, I'll tell you what, Howard, next yeah. time I'm on the show, perhaps I will. All right, well, I'm looking forward to that, yeah. <laughs> All right, let me take a break here, Robin. We'll be back right after these words. We're back with the Howard Stern Show. Oh, well, another one of our competitors is down in Cleveland. They just fired uh, Jeff and Flash. Too bad. They were great guys. I heard that everybody at that station is going to have to reapply for their job. Yeah. The thing uh, is, we shook up Cleveland a little too much. They weren't ready. Good. What can you say? Sad to see him go, isn't it, Rob? Yeah. I'll miss him. Better them than us. <laughs> you're on the air in New York. Hi, you're on. Yeah, is my dad Baba Booey there? <laughs> now, wait a second. Are you claiming that your father is Gary Delabiti? Uh, Yeah, he is. Hey, that was kind of fun to listen to, though, wasn't it? Yeah, I know. Isn't Jackie a cold-hearted bastard? His own daughter came. Yeah, I know. <laughs> but, uh, Jackie, if that ever does happen, I hope you're a little bit more sensitive. The reason I was pissed off, that guy who came in off the street did his lame April Fool's thing. It turned out to be better than us. Yeah, but he put the suggestion in everyone's mind that it was April Fool's and therefore screwed up our April Fool's thing. <laughs> you know what I made Gary do last week? What? I came down the station. You know, I issued a Time magazine. That this guy's great. Cover. You know who this is. This is the guy who stands in oh, front of the building. Oh, Gary's friend? 
Yeah, this guy stands in front of the building and tortures Gary. All he does is wear Baba Booey mask and monkey mask. I love him. And whenever yeah, I Gary doesn't, a lot of the interns because I make a lot of funny phone calls to the station. And then whenever Gary, he he loves to harass Gary. Yeah, he follows him to every appearance. If Gary is making an appearance, cells of Gary. He has cartoon drawings that he makes of Gary all the time. Well, I've only he's only come to one of my appearances. Is that right? He makes frequent appearances in front of the building. Right. <laughs> yeah, last week I was and outside. He calls a lot. He calls a lot. Did you, how many times did you call me this week? Oh, I think like about uh, two or three times. This was a busy week for him. Right. Yeah, because it's spring break, so. <laughs> you got the time. time. You got the time to do it. Yeah. You should have seen last week. Mills like we almost picked up this girl. Really? Hey, I heard a great story. Yeah. Ratso called me last night. And you know that retard who appears on our show all the time, Kenneth Keith Callenbach? <gasps> yes, I think I heard this. So Ratso, Kenneth Keith... Larry Melrose Green. I don't know why Ratso hangs around with all these guys, but he does. Ratso loves weird people. I think Ratso, this is his only friend. Do you want to know how cheap Ratso is? Ratso actually let Melrose Larry Green buy him dinner. Really? No. Now, where does Melrose got to be poor, right? Yeah, right. Ratso claims he bought all of them dinner. What? Yeah, that's what he was telling me on the phone last night. I don't know. I saw Larry. I saw Melrose Larry taking money out of his pocket, and Ratso said that he was, you know, buying Larry dinner. So I don't Ratso. know. Well, Ratso makes Ralph look like a sport. Oh. Well, anyway, so here we go. Ralph's one of these guys. He always says to me whenever he comes to my house, he goes, um, do you, do, would you mind if I stayed a little later so I can take you and Allison out to dinner? Which means, Howard, would you take me out to dinner and pay right, for cause it? Right, because he knows you're not going to let him pay. Right. So, yeah, it was last weekend he was out, took him over to the restaurant, had nice seafood dinner. Big Caesar salad. And he ordered whatever he wanted. Yeah. <laughs> then he comes back to my house and starts eating my food at the house. He decided he wanted more salad. I think he's eating for the week. The guy takes his smelly fingers and sticks them in my salad. I, I chop up a lot of lettuce and cucumbers and stuff and keep it in a big bowl, yeah. a Tupperware. He takes his fingers and hands and starts, like, putting them in the salad and, t and fishing out salad with But he goes and opens your refrigerator. Yeah, That's opens my refrigerator uh... you, you... and feels totally comfortable doing it. I have a friend whose uh, brother-in-law comes to visit him all the time, brings his laundry, eats everything in the house, and then takes food home with him. Unbelievable. Yeah, well, my brother-in-law has tried to start that. You know, Bruce tried to start that whenever he'd come and visit because like, he sits there and eats the food and everything, and then he'd bring some laundry, and i just put a stop right to it. I just said, dude, I stop at your laundry. You're not doing your laundry here. The guy used to take the train up, and when he got up there, my friend had to give him the money for his round trip on the train yeah. while he did the laundry, ate all the food, and yeah. packed food to take home. Right. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. I'm not doing that. Wasn't your dad mad at you one time because you said you shouldn't call Gary a monkey? Yeah. Uh, Isn't there something really irritating about the way he says the word monkey? Monkey. 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 Yeah, he, he gets you, doesn't he? Gary, hey, Gary is really annoyed by you, which is even funnier. <laughs> he hates you. I'm less annoyed by him than I was a year ago. Yeah. I wanted to go last Friday to that like, crab-eating contest, but you know, I didn't feel like taking the train that late at night, so I couldn't go. I heard it was funny because Gary was like, cra like madly, he was supposed to be on his diet, but he was madly cracking away at the crabs and grabbing them and eating them. And, oh, yeah? Yeah. I had two crabs that were steamed with some seasoning. I don't know who said I was madly I heard cracking. You, Christine said you were madly going at, gnawing at them with like, your teeth, like cutting through the crab shells with you your teeth. Need no, the only no. Way, <laughs> he doesn't need the crackers. Can, everybody eats crabs the same way. You have to crack at them and gnaw at them. Yeah, but not with your teeth. <laughs> gnaw at them. Gnawing He's at them. gnawing at them. You have to crack at them. He was eating the shell. Yeah. You're not supposed to eat the shell. What is it, John? Oh, God. I think I just swallowed a hair. I think I did, too. Do you want uh, Melrose Larry? Do you, do you want to talk to him? Because he did pay for the lobster they ate and everything. Oh, really? All right, well, maybe I'll get to him in a second. But I'm in the middle of telling a story. So that retard Kenneth Keith Callenbach and Melrose Larry Green go with Ratso to some place, and they're with a whole bunch of other retards from the WAC Pack. <laughs> so all of a sudden, they're all there, and they turn around. It's time to go. Dinner's over. No one can find Kenneth Keith Callenbach. He's like missing. Yeah. Did you hear this? Yes. So he. Did they you hear this, Jackie? No, 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 this is at a club. Oh, at a so club. At a club. Okay. So they're miss. So he's missing, and they're looking around all over. And all of a sudden, in the corner of the club, they see tucked away in a booth, Kenneth Keith is making out with this chick. Really? Now, Kenneth Keith never gets laid, and if he does, if he ever gets laid, it's by big fat girls. Big fat ugly girls. So. So what'd she look like? You get uh, I heard. I, I'm not. Well, let me ask Melrose. They said she was cute. They yeah, said she was that's really what I cute. heard. Now listen, you guys don't know the rest of the story. Supposedly, Kenneth ran off. She she lives. I don't know. She lives like somewhere out of state. Oh yeah. They're somewhere out of state together now. They ran off and they're getting married. Stop it. I'm not right kidding here. Yeah, that's what Ratso told me last night. Come on, another April Fool's joke. No, 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 no. Not, this not, is not, not, not the day. Hey, Melrose. Oh, I'm serious. We call Kenneth Keith. Melrose. Howard, let's be real. Yeah. 
Let's just talk man to man, real. Okay, if you if you want to talk real, then talk real. Stop being okay. a jerky. Yeah, just stop being a jerky question. and answer my question. Okay. Because I'm going to hang up on you. What happened at the club that night? Can it, was the girl decent looking? The girl was beautiful. Really? Beautiful. I couldn't believe it. I tried hitting on her myself. Yeah. And <laughs> I got no place. You, and Kenneth Keith is a really odd looking guy. And I mean, he doesn't I, know how to talk to a girl. Yeah, I mean, I, I got to say, if I was a girl, I'd talk to Melrose before <laughs> Kenneth Keith. I was out with Scott's intern, Chris, and a few other people from K Rock. It was like, the, it was great. And then suddenly Kenneth started talking to the girl. And next thing you know, he vanished. We couldn't find him. Ratso and I got a cab. We were walking down the village. And uh, Kenneth Keith. I'm never working with Ratso again either. <laughs> and I did pay for the dinner, by the way. I bought Ratso a lobster at Sidewalker. That's unbelievable. Ratso How makes... could he let? Ratso makes so much more money than you. Well. What do you make a year, seriously? What? What? How well, much... let's not let's not focus on me, Howard. You're giving me so much air time. It's pathetic. <laughs> no. What do you make a year, seriously? About thirty grand. All right. Uh, anyway, Ratso makes at least fifty a year. Yeah. Well, that's his last lobster. <laughs> do you know that? Um, anyway. You know, I always thought that sort of Melrose Larry was sort of asexual. Yeah. But he was all over our, our intern Christine. I love finally, it. to get rid of him... She hasn't shown up back at work since then. No. But finally, to get rid of Larry, she told him that she had herpes. <gasps> oh, really? Oh, oh that, that was a great. goof? <laughs> no, it's not true, Larry. Oh, that was a goof. Oh, that oh, was a goof. I already got tested. <laughs> I, I paid $40 for a herpes test for nothing. So, wait a second. So, did you hear that Kenneth Keith is getting married? Yeah. You heard that? I heard that from King of Song Parodies. <laughs> yeah, but a whole where network. are they? King of Song Parodies has a girlfriend now, of course, of you, Howard. Now, wait a second. Get, yeah. get back to Kenneth Keith. Yeah. So, so th doesn't she live, like, out of state somewhere? Yeah, she lives out of state. I didn't find out where. I didn't get that far. As soon as I told her who I was, she didn't care. No, and I'm saying that Kenneth Keith's girlfriend lives out of state. And Kenneth yeah. Keith, isn't he, like, somewhere out of state now? He's in her? Pennsylvania now. I mean, he lives in Pennsylvania. Yeah, I don't know where he is. I don't even know the guy. Supposedly, they're, they're going to get married. Yeah, yeah they're getting married. And, I mean, Keith? Yeah. I have a home number for him. Yeah, this yeah. is not April Fool's, by the way. No, it's not. I seriously, it's not. This is April, not April Fool's. April is officially over, okay? Uh, I, right. I want to know if Kenneth Keith Callenbach is getting married. Yeah, I think he is. That's, That's what Ratso awesome. told me. Howard, before you hang up with me, can I say one thing about your gubernatorial campaign? Gubernatorial. I'm sorry. I'm just, I just want to say, if anybody in L.A. wants to be involved in the campaign, please call. If, you, if, you can't, if I can't give out my number, please call Gary in New York, and Gary will call me. But can I give out my number in L.A.? Yeah, I guess so. All right. 213-463. Don't call out and throw them off the air, though. 2662. 213-463-2662. I want to raise $20 million for people in the state of California so we can elect Howard governor of New York. Uh, this is not a joke. This is not April Fool's. I think Howard, you... $20 million. All right, dude, I got to go. All right, wait, can I just say something? Yeah. Yeah, um... Now he seems normal. <laughs> yeah. Um, I like that you hassle Gary. It's funny. Yeah, I know. Actually, I was really trying to intern at the station because, I mean, <laughs> if, if Melrose, like, this girl, you should have seen the girl you almost picked up on, on uh, Madison Avenue. Yeah. I was like, man, she's with Melrose. <laughs> it was unbelievable. I was just thinking, man, if I was in the, if I was like one of the interns. Melrose is a pretty strange looking guy. I yeah. can't I mean, Robin, you're a woman. I imagine that Melrose might be the most unsexual man on the planet. You don't want to think of Melrose and sex in the same Yeah, I mean, you don't want to think of Melrose, like, naked, <laughs> no. cuddling you. No. <laughs> you know, I'm sorry, she's, and she didn't even want anything to do with me yeah. after I told her who <laughs> I was. If I was a girl, seriously, now, Robin, you back me up on this. If I was a girl, actually, I, I think I would, if I had to sleep with one of those two guys, uh -huh. it would be Kenneth Keith. Wait. I guess so. If it was the choice between Melrose and Kenneth. I just got off the phone with Mr. Callenbach. Yeah. He didn't want to come on the air. Yeah. Uh, Kenneth Keith Kalavak is in Chicago with some girl. Right, that's her. That's but, but he said he didn't know anything about marriage. I heard they're getting married. He doesn't know how to get in touch with them? Uh, let me go back. Go back. <laughs> oh, Gary, Gary, you didn't get the number? Monkey. The vital question. Monkey. I told you, he's in Chicago with a girl. Oh, man, Chicago. They just met the other night. But it, Chicago? Yeah, he's already shacking up with her. Doesn't he have a job? <laughs> Yeah, he's real uh, crucial to the... Uh, <laughs> the company must have closed the, down. Yeah, the company evidently is thinking of caving in. They don't know what to do. They're going to just sell off all the pieces. And... <laughs> it's not the most important hub. It's yeah. not the most important cog in that week. I'm sure they're still not aware that he's in Chicago. What would you do if your daughter brought home oh. Kenneth Keith Callen back? I'd get a gun, I'd kill them, and then I'd kill myself. <laughs> burn the house. <laughs> yeah, burn the house. <laughs>
That's the guy, for those of you who were wondering who we're talking about, that's the guy on our old TV show who used to blow the smoke out of his eyes. You know what we ought to do for his in-laws? <laughs> what? Put together a videotape. Yeah, of him vomiting <laughs> on my feet. And the other one, of him playing the ball in the tunnel. Yeah. And then going out to take a... Put it in his crotch and blew up his crotch. <laughs> Or put, lit the Roman candle out of his buttocks. Yeah. What about Smacked that one? himself in the face with a fish. All right. Yeah. yeah. A real fish. And then cut off all his hair and stuffed it in his own mouth. <laughs> and then vomited on my feet because right. I had him on the show. Remember he drank a gallon of water? And then he tried to blow the water out of his eyes. And then all of a sudden he started puking. And then I thought it was great television. At least if I was being puked on, it was on television. And Channel 9 wouldn't air it. That's right. They're i got to put a, a tape out. My next tape should... i got to talk to Channel 9 about that. It really should be outtakes of the Channel 9 show. Because when he started vomiting on my feet... That, that, that was really... Oh, weird. Yeah. And Channel 9 had this whole thing about you weren't allowed to show body fluids. But they do it on the Conan O'Brien show now regularly. They vomit? Yes. For real? Yes. Real vomit. They have a guy who comes on and vomits. No. Real vomit. What difference does it make if it's real oh, or not? Oh, okay. All right. I don't know whether it's real, but they're Wait. vomiting. No. If it, is it real vomit? Kenneth on the phone. Oh. And mind. the girl the girl answered the phone. Oh, whoa. Oh, boy. Uh-oh. Right. Hey, dude, i got to hang up on you. we got to have pictures. All right, I might be down there with my baba booey man. <laughs> Kenneth. Hello? Yeah, dude. <laughs> Kenneth. Oh, now he's a man of the world. Yes, now he's on your level. Hey, it's because of me you're getting a girl. No, uh, she didn't know anything about it. Yeah, but she. But the reason you were in that club is because all my friends were there with you. Yeah, I know. What happened? You just met her. Now you're living with her? Yeah. She's real cool, but... I heard she's really cute. Yeah. And she's not fat. Nah, she's not fat at does all. Does she realize what a loser you are? No, nah, she thinks I'm really cute. Well, hold on. What Howard. is wrong Pe with her? People say that she acts a lot like Kenneth. Oh, really? <laughs> they said that she's sort of the female Kenneth. Oh, man. I, I hear you get married. Uh, yeah, we're planning on it. What? What? She's planning on getting married. Yeah, it was, a, it was the next day. I think it was the next day. You asked her to marry you? Yeah, the next day. Wow. Does she, does she ever see you on my old TV show, like, vomiting on me and blowing up your, you know, your yeah. genitals? Yeah, we watched it the next, the next day after I wrote it. Oh, she, oh you, you showed it to her? Yeah, we watched it. Because you wanted to show her everything about yourself? No, because I was telling her about it. She was like, oh, let's watch it. All right, let me, get this, let me get this straight. You went to the club with Ratso and Melrose Larry Green. All of a sudden, how did you meet this really good-looking girl? Oh, I was walking in the back room to talk to some other girl, and this girl was, like, just in the way. Not in the way, but right there, and I was like, yo, what's up? Can I, can I buy you a drink? And she was like, all right. So we got drinks or whatever. And she was, like, sat in this table. And what was she wearing? Uh, table. Table. No, you know, there was, uh, like, those long black stocking things. Long black stockings? Like yeah. leggings. Like leggings? I guess. And like, like, does she have a nice body? Yeah. And that's the first girl you ever got that wasn't like fat or anything? Uh, no. Is she the best you've ever had? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so let me get this straight. So all of a sudden you're sitting with her and she's talking to you like you're normal. Like she's actually paying attention to you. Can you believe it? And then what do you guys do? You go back to her... Do you, where do you go? Do you go back... Where did you go? Oh, well, we just sat there and, and like, made out and got right and Yeah, I heard because Ratso said he goes up and goes, Kenneth Keith was making out with a girl at the booth. Sheesh. And I go, you know, if I... I told you this was an April Fool's. And after the place closed, we sat there and we kept trying to kick us out, but we wouldn't leave. Oh, you wouldn't? And then we went to a hotel. You went to a hotel? Yeah. And you got it that night? Yeah. Whoa. Hey, Kenneth, I, I, you don't have credit cards, right? No. Nah. How'd you pay for the hotel? It was just real dive. Oh, <laughs> man. It was like 50 bucks or something. How romantic. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> wait, wait a minute. How'd you wind up in Chicago? Well, wait. We're getting to that. We're still, uh, we're still in the hotel. All right. What, you want me to talk to her? Yeah, later on. Okay. So you so you get to the hotel and oh, did you think you were gonna score? Oh yeah, I mean that was yeah, that was already you know decided. Really?
really? And you get in there, and, like, she starts ripping your clothes off and stuff? Yeah. And then uh, all of a sudden, like, how many times did you do it that night? Um, like, like a lot. I don't know. Like, uh, like, like all night? Yeah, kind of. And she was telling you she loved you and stuff? Because no girl, no girl had ever told you she loved you before, right? Well, no, it's all of them did before. Really? And yeah. she was like, she says, oh, my God, I can't believe I met you. I want to marry you? Yeah. <laughs> and you like her so much you want to marry her, too? Yeah. And what are you going to do? You live in your parents' house. Oh, I told them I'm um, moving out. Oh, you're moving out? Yeah. Really? Does she have a job? Um... She's quitting the job in Chicago. We're going back to Philadelphia. Oh, yeah? Really? Then she's going to look for one more. Now, how are you in Chicago? I mean, don't you have a job to go to? Uh, for vacation. Oh, you did? You were able to get vacation? Yeah. On a moment's notice like that, huh? Yeah. I just said, they need days off. <laughs> <laughs> it was a special occasion. He had a girl. He's getting married. I mean, this is the first time you've ever, you know... This is the first time you've ever had, like, a long-term relationship, right? Long-term. Oh, come on. <laughs> this is the first time you've ever lasted with a girl more than a day. Uh, come on, be honest. You've never had a girlfriend. Well, I guess this would be maybe the second or something. Yeah. Uh, so what's she going to do? She's going to transfer to the McDonald's in Philadelphia, or is she going to get a whole new job? Transfer to that McDonald's, I think. <laughs> what, did she work in a fast food place? Uh... Some kind of restaurant or something. I don't know. Yeah. I've never seen it. <laughs> so wait a minute. Now you didn't have money for a hotel. How'd you get to Chicago? Uh. Well, he's got money. He's got a job. But he doesn't have a lot of money. Did you take her up to Pennsylvania first and get your money? No, we didn't go to PA. No, not yet. So you been? How long you been in Chicago since that night? No, I just got here last night. And where have you been the whole time? In Pennsylvania? Yeah, I was in Pennsylvania. And she was up in New York. I don't understand. So, uh, yeah, it's not important. <laughs> Let me talk to her. Uh, oh. What's her name? Laura. <laughs> <laughs> hey, one of my friends wants to talk to you. Well, tell her we're on the air. Hello? Hey, how you doing? Hi, fine. How are you? Who hey, is this? It's Howard. We're on the radio. Oh, hey, Howard. How are you doing? All right. Hey, you sound pretty normal. Yeah, I'm pretty normal, you know. I mean... No, there's a little Kenneth Keith in there. <laughs> <laughs> are you really going to marry him? Oh, definitely. You fell in love with him that night? Yeah. I loved him before. I just had to meet him. And What? You loved... Oh, you've heard him on the air before? No, uh-uh. Oh, you saw him on my TV show? Nah. She just knew in her yeah. mind. Oh, yeah. you, mean, you mean like that's the man of your dream? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And what happened when you saw him in the in the? I don't know. I was kind of drunk, but I just remember he bought me a beer, and then we started kissing, and he was just, you know, he was just a really sweet guy. And and he turns you on. Definitely. I gotta meet you. Wait a minute. What <laughs> happened with? I think Melrose talked to you first, right? Uh -huh. And what happened? You you were turned off to Melrose. Melrose. Melrose Larry Green. <laughs> Yeah, you don't remember. You were drunk and you were turned off to Melrose Larry Green. Isn't that amazing? She was loaded out of her mind and didn't remember him. You two have to get married on pay-per-view. So, so you mean you mean you when he made love to you that first night, Kenneth Keith, was he actually good in bed? Um, yeah, I married him, aren't I? Yeah, and you were like you were like, oh my God, Kenneth, I love you so much. And like, yeah. Like, he, like when Did he, you ever, you knew, you knew, you looked at him and said, this is the man I'm supposed to marry. Yeah. And you achieved oh. orgasm? <laughs> I'm not saying that on the air. Oh, please. No. Just tell me, I mean, that guy actually delivered the goods? Oh, uh, yeah. Really? Yeah. Uh, maybe that, maybe he, that's the one good thing. He, you know, maybe... And you liked his TV appearances? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Did you like when he vomited on me? Huh? Did you see when he vomited on me? <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> now, what do you do for a living? I did see that when you vomited. Um, you're a waitress? No, I go to school here. I'm dropping out. I'm an artist. Right, so you're going to just hang out with Kenneth Keith back at his place. You know, he doesn't yeah. even have a place. He lives with his parents. Yeah, we're going to live in the RV for a while. Oh, you're going to live in, what, in what, like a trailer? Uh-huh, in a motorhome. He has one? Oh, his parents, they were going to park it and camp for a bit. Oh, really? Uh-huh. <laughs> now, what kind of artist are you? <laughs> She's like Yoko. Yeah, I make really cool illustrations, drawings. Yeah. T-shirts, I did a CD, you know. And you want to be Mrs. Kenneth Keith Callenbeck? Yeah. And have wow. his children. Yeah, a couple of them. You don't think he's a retard? No. <laughs> it's 
whip is, and I am too. Right. Do you do whippets and? Uh... <laughs> do you go to the bathroom in the woods, like just run around and and like do it in front of your friends? Yeah, but I bring my own toilet paper. Good for you. You're gonna class up his act. <laughs> So, so okay, so uh, when do you... This is kind of sudden. Don't you think you guys should wait a little bit? No way. You Have just... your parents met Kenneth? Yeah, we're going down Sunday to meet him. <laughs> <laughs> wait till they meet him. Wait till he meets them. Oh, is it that bad? <laughs> yeah, I'm from down south. And you're, and you're really good looking? <laughs> yeah, I'm a fox. Really? Yeah. Like, like what we do you... We kind of look alike. What do you weigh? What do I weigh? I don't know, about 110. And how tall are you? Uh, five, four and a half. And what's your cup size? Uh, about... 42 double D. Really? Yeah. I'm Whoa. Huge. Yeah, it's Kenneth's kind of been a problem on my back. But I, I was going to say, you can't even stand up straight. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. Kenneth's, doing better, me, Kenneth's yeah. doing better than I am. Yeah, people help me walk around. Though. But you're really big and you like to wear sexy tops and show off your cleavage? Yeah, definitely. Why not? And you wear short shorts with Daisy Dukes? Yeah, I got about three pairs. Really? Uh -huh. With your butt cheeks sticking out? No, nah, I cut them out and made them myself. And what, and what age were you when you lost your virginity? Uh, that would have been about, I was late, 17. Oh, yeah? And you don't sleep with a lot of guys? Um, No, not really. There's not very many guys I like. Really? Just yeah. Kenneth is the guy you like? Kenneth Definitely. is your type. Well, he yeah. is a one of a kind. And like, and you saw him and you're just like, oh, that guy's a fox? Yeah, and he bought me beer, too. That's like if like Beavis and Butthead walked in. He not only him. was a fox, but he bought her a beer. Isn't that cool? Isn't it amazing that like if Beavis and Butthead actually got girls, <laughs> that's what this would be like? Totally. They're great. Well, um, yeah, he's really cool. I just have this picture of them winding up on Sally Jesse Raphael one day. Oh, yeah, something stupid will happen. I cu I, first I cut her, and then she started bleeding. I, I chopped her head off, and, and then I didn't know what to do. And no, I, I loved her, but... Uh, oh, no. So what are you wearing right now? Are you naked? Um, no, because I had to get up and answer the phone. I don't want my roommate looking at me, so I have some shorts and a T-shirt on. I see. But so I you even there. have a roommate. What's your roommate think? Uh, they think I'm crazy. Yeah, because you're getting married. When's the wedding? Um, July, because that's when my mom can fly out. Oh, great. And where's yeah. it going to be? We want to see it. We want to tape it. Really? Uh, yeah. Wherever we find, you know. Well, we're having a big one. Yeah, out back of the RV, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully we'll be out of there by then. Well, hey, you know, he's a good man. Yeah. <laughs> he, he certainly is. You got is. a breadwinner there, I'll tell you. <laughs> you got a guy that, uh, well, you know. He can yeah, definitely go out and slay the dragon. Yeah, he'll definitely go to bat for you, you know what I mean? Yeah. Are you pregnant yet? Not yet. Yeah, but you're working on Do you guys, well, use, do you guys no. use any contraception? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm being safe right now. Yeah, using the pill or something? Condoms? Oh, uh, lots of things. I say we give her condoms, we sterilize her, we give her pills, we give her everything. <laughs> the patch, yeah. the pill. The, the patch, patch, everything. <laughs> no kidding. What's your measurements? 30, well, 44. Double D. 24. Yeah. What's the bottom measurement? Oh, uh, the bottom, I don't know. I haven't ever really measured it, but, you know, I fit my pants all right. Yeah? You wear panties a lot or you don't even wear panties? I wear panties, but, um, you know, not when I wear, like, a tight skirt. What were you doing in New York? Um, I went up there for vacation. I took my art up and just, like, tried to show it around. And, and you can wear tight skirts and look good? Yeah. Oh, yeah. With high heels and stuff? Yeah, I'll show you sometime. Really? Yeah. because yeah, the guys were saying she's really cute and Kenneth got her. Yeah. Well, yeah, I'm going to say something. Your friends are really nice, too. This has got to prove to guys once and for all. That anybody can get a girl. Any, well, I don't want to hear some loser tell me you can't get a girl. What's the name of the bar you guys met in? Because Ace. Guys, Ace? Yeah. Because a lot of people are going to want to go there if there's more girls like you. Yeah. All right. Well, very good. Uh, Mrs. Callenbach, very nice to uh, talk with you. Very nice to talk to you, too. Will you take Kenneth's last name? or will you? Oh, definitely. You will. You're proud I'll take them all. Yeah. Mrs. Kenneth Keith Callenbach. That's right. That. And you guys have not stopped making love since you met? Not at all. Wow. My name's Rebecca, by the way. Rebecca Callenbach. Yeah. Very good. D Dominic Barber said if this is not an April Fool's joke, they can use Puerto Rico for the honeymoon. <laughs> no, really? Yeah. No, no way. No, way. Dominic. Don't let him go to Puerto Rico. He has Rico. no clue what they would do. Though. Oh. Isn't there a war or something down there? Yeah, war. there's a war in Puerto Rico. <laughs> there's a war yeah, there's a war going on right now. There's a war in your house. You don't know it. There's a war in your head. I was just going to say The two that. voices are fighting with each other. <laughs> All right, very good, Rebecca. Okay, here he is. All right, congratulations. Man, I can't. Uh, yo, what's up? She sounds pretty hot and normal. Dude, what yeah, did you talk hot. about? Hey, I can't believe that you got her. See, that's what it is. I figured I got to hold on to her because, you know, if I let her go, you know. Yeah, you're never going to do any better. I uh, know. I'm going to, you know, capitalize on it now. Hey, listen, when you, uh, when you, when you meet the parents, man, try to act a little normal. I know, that's what I'm worried about. <laughs> like, why is that guy looking at the ground all the time? Yeah, I mean, this guy can't even look you in the eye. <laughs>
And so, you know, try to act a little bit normal. Put your hair back or something. Yeah, get something to put in that gap between your teeth. Or yeah, something. like put some gum in between that gap in your teeth. Oh, man, you're going to be worried. I'm serious. Oh, man. You're going to take care of her, aren't you? Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> She'll be in a ditch in about three weeks. <laughs> no, hey, congratulations. I don't know how you did it because even Ratso said she was cute. That's yeah, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> and that really bums out a guy like Ratso because like, he couldn't get any girls that night in Kenneth. Did. She's got exactly what Ratso wants, big breasts. Yeah. That's all Ratso wants in a woman. I know. I'm amazed. So. Because you had been on a, a real bad streak, hadn't you, Kenneth? Yeah, real bad. <laughs> all right, listen. Well, hey, congratulations. Good luck. Call us when you get back. Hey, definitely. you. you got to come visit us with your new girlfriend. Yeah, I'll give bring it so you, you, know, you can goof on her. <laughs> All right, man. Hey, what do you guys, do you guys actually talk and stuff? Yeah. What do you talk about? I don't know. No, come on, like, what do you talk to her about? Um, I don't know. What, what do people talk about? I don't know. Mm-hmm, I see. <laughs> You're not back into drugs, are you? <laughs> All right, man, I'll talk to you. All right, bye. You uh, know. What? See, is it... uh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's just amazing to me. Uh, i got to take a break here. We'll be there's back. There's got to be some th kind of in substance. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's some kind of hallucinogen going on. We'll be back right after these words.